Hello, everyone. I'm Eva Cecina. As a part of Jewish community of our big Bentley family, I'm honored to share with you a little piece from Torah wisdom today. But before that, I would like to express gratitude to God, my family, my close friends who supported me throughout my life, both in happy and tough times. This is a pasuk, a few verses from Pirkei Avos, translated as teachings of fathers. It's part of Mishnah, oral Torah, that was transmitted from father to son, generation to generation. It was written down around 1,800 years ago by Yehuda Hanasi. These verses teach us that if we want to be successful in life, we should respect each person and look for the best in everyone around us and learn good things from them. And if we want to be happy in life, we should look on what we have and not focus on what we're missing. The cup can be half full or half empty. It all depends on our perception of reality. Here's the verses. Ben Zoma Omer, Ezehu Ha'am, Halamet Mekol Adam, Shenemer, Mekol Melam Dei Miskalti, Hi Ekoteha Sihali, Ezehu Gibor, Hakovesh Edetzro, Shenemer, Vetofer Eha Pai Mi Gibor, O Mashel Beruho, Melohat Ir, Ezehu Ashir, Hasameh Behalko, Shneimer, Yegia Kapeha, Ki Tohel Shreha, Betof La Hashreha, Belam Haz Belam Haze, Betof Lam, Belam Haba, Yezehu Mehobad, Hamehabet Edabriot, Shneimer, Ki Mehabdai Ahabet Uvatsaya Kalo. I will translate for you. <laughs> but Zoma would say, Who is wise? One who learns from every man. As is stated, from all my teachers I have grown wise, for your testimonies are my meditation. Who is strong? One who overpowers his inclinations. As is stated, better one who is slow to anger than one with might, one who rules his spirit than the capture of a city. Who is rich? One who is satisfied with his lot. As is stated, if you eat of toil or your hands, fortune are you and good is to you. Fortune are you in this world, and good is to you in the world to come. Who is honorable? One who honors his fellows. As is stated, For to those who honor me, I accord honor. Those who score me shall be demand. Thank you, and my best wishes to all of you. Take advantage of everything Bentley has to offer. These are some of the first words that I, Spencer Torella, heard from President Gloria Larson during our convocation ceremony four long years ago. At the onset of freshman year, I wasn't too sure what she meant by that, but I had the immediate sense that I was going to receive detailed information on clubs to join, majors to choose, and career services events to help prepare for the proverbial real world. However, what we all didn't realize was that what we needed to be prepared for was the deluge of emails entering our inboxes. <laughs> we received emails from professors, administrators, staff, students, clubs, and a plethora of other groups. There always seemed to be something going on at Bentley. In other words, lots to take advantage of. When our journey began as first-year students in that new general business core with finance and accounting in the first year, we were overwhelmed. We then attended the student activities fair and signed up for more club meetings than we had hours in a week. We were make, taking advantage of everything Bentley has to offer and more. We were then inundated with career services emails, from networking nights to crash courses in resume writing, preparation for our future careers began. Being smart and nimble in these early days, we were trying to decide what seemed like our futures in a short span, all while transitioning to a new life in college. We were then making the really big decisions, like which side of the dorm room we wanted, or the first thing to say to our new roommate, or whether or not they were going to buy the TV or the refrigerator. We then hesitantly wandered over to some of those senior dorms where loud music was playing, hoping we'd get our first chance at a college party. Whether we knew it or not, we were taking advantage of everything Bentley has to offer. <laughs> through our sophomore year, we progressed through clubs and organizations, taking on leadership roles and leaving our mark. We declared our majors, minors, and LSMs while reassessing our finance and accounting skills as a result of GB212. <laughs> In our sophomore year, the infamous reply all email fiasco erupted. 
with the title, Exterior Lights On. <laughs> Technology being what it is, glitches and all, provide the opportunity for some students to take advantage of that reply all and respond by subsequently overloading the inboxes on our campus email, all while taking advantage of everything Bentley has to offer. <laughs> During our junior year, our roommates went to study abroad, we went to study abroad, and our parents, capitalizing on their opportunity to study abroad, followed us to a wealth of destinations. Whether it was Europe, Asia, Australia, South America, or any other destination, the common theme seemed to be, quote, if we go, our parents follow. <laughs> During my study abroad, I decided to take a weekend trip to Interlaken, Switzerland. Little did I know at the time, but the experience would change the course of my Bentley career. Overlooking one of the picturesque lakes of Interlaken, I proceeded with some funny poses and asked my friend to take a picture. At the time, I was writing a blog for Bentley's undergraduate admission website and submitted this photo to be featured on the page. A few months later, our Bentley marketing and communications department decided that that particular photo captured the essence of the prepared aspect of our new logo. <laughs> I was then asked if the picture could be featured in our new undergraduate admission space. Assuming the photo would be featured in a brochure or in a photo montage, I agreed to have the picture displayed. When I arrived at our new undergraduate admission space at the start of this semester, it turns out that that particular photo was enlarged to an eight by 16 foot feature with the tagline, are you prepared? <laughs> as it turns out, I wasn't prepared for my fun photo from a weekend trip to be featured as an enormous spread. Now, I'll be staying on the Bentley campus well after my graduation. While looking at the photo of myself, I realized that what I am prepared for is the next step of my life, with all the tools, skills, and experience of which I took advantage while at Bentley University. And then, senior year rolled around, leaving us all flabbergasted at the speed of the past three years. At the university, Bentley too experienced rapid change with a rebranding effort and a new logo that captured our Bentley experience in four meaningful words. Smart, nimble, compassionate, and my favorite, prepared. Whatever your view is on the new logo, we find common ground on the idea that a new generation of Bentley students has come to campus with a new curriculum and a new optimism for the future. A new brand expressed our ideals and captured our role in helping to move Bentley University forward into the years ahead. In keeping with Bentley's theme of smart, nimble, and compassionate, we, as seniors, would carefully plan out our social calendar. On Thursday nights, we would schedule our weekly trip to Skellig and Waltham, saving the weekends for the nightlife in Boston. We were prepared and smart during these nights out in Boston, making sure we could perfectly time the last tea ride back to Harvard Square and minimize the time we would have to wait at the bus stop for the next Bentley shuttle. We were also nimble during these same nights, mainly when sprinting from the tea to catch that shuttle <laughs> so that we wouldn't have to wait another full hour for the next one. And lastly, we were compassionate. Compassionate for our friends and roommates who maybe were not as nimble in sprinting for the Bentley shuttle <laughs> as we encouraged them along and even carried them in a few cases. <laughs> we were truly taking advantage of everything Bentley has to offer. And now, at this transition between our undergraduate years of study together and the onset of our professional lives, spirits are high, emotions are mixed, but all rest comfortable with a mantra that we all share. We are prepared. When I wrote this speech, I was sitting at the front table on the lower level of the campus library, right in front of the windows. Looking out of the window, I had the chance to observe new student tour groups passing by, parents taking, taking pictures of their children in front of the Falcon, and the occasional froth players who would be throwing a frisbee across the upper quad. This made me think about my past four years and the changes we have all experienced. We have left our mark on the university and the university has left its mark on us. But on this day, as we prepare for the next stages of our lives, I will look back fondly on this image, knowing that the smart, nimble, compassionate, and prepared characteristics of my education will be employed and reevaluated for future generations of Bentley students to come. And so, when we cross that stage tomorrow, we can rest comfortably knowing that we took advantage of everything Bentley had to offer. And now, Wherever life takes us, or wherever we end up, we will always know that it is important to keep the exterior lights on, because we are all fellow Falcons, and we are truly prepared. Congratulations, my fellow Bentley classmates, class of 2013.
Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Angel King. It is my pleasure to read from the Holy Bible. The passage I chose is based on the fourth chapter of Paul's letter to the Philippians, and it is a reminder to us to remain content in all situations in life, to contemplate on the good things we have, to remember that we could do all things in God who strengthens us, and finally, to always present our concerns and requests to God and in return receive peace. Let us read. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, you whom I love and long for, my joy and my crown, stand firm in the Lord in this way, dear friends. Rejoice in the Lord always. I will say it again, rejoice. Let your gentleness be evident to it all. The Lord is near. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your request to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your mind in Christ Jesus. Finally, brothers and sisters, whatever is true, whatever is noble, whatever is right, whatever is pure, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, if anything is excellent or praiseworthy, think about such things. Whatever you have learned or received or heard from me or seen in me, put it into practice and the God of peace will be with you. I rejoice greatly in the, in the Lord that at last you renewed your... Indeed, you were concerned, but you had no opportunity to show it. I am not saying this because I am in need, for I have learned to be content whatever the circumstances. I know what it is to be in need, and I know what it is to have plenty. I have learned the secret of being content in any and every situation, whether well-fed or hungry, whether living in plenty or in want. I could do all these through him who gives me strength. Thank you.